Before we start the video, make sure to make me reach 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2018. If we can reach that count, I will be getting a tattoo of Link Sword 1 to 3 tattooed on my body. It's going to be big, it's going to be crazy, and I just want to make you guys and girls help me reach the 20,000 subscribers before the end of this year. Help me guys and girls! Hey guys and girls, I'm Link123 and welcome to today's video which is going to be about 5 facts you didn't knew about The Legend of Zelda. It's going to be such a nice thing to reveal all of these facts that some of you guys and girls never heard of. I'm probably sure that some of them will surprise you and some of them you might have heard of because we are all digging around the internet, right? So let's jump straight to number 5 and see how that turns out. Number 5. The unreleased Zelda game, also called Ura Zelda. Ura Zelda was an expansion for Ocarina of Time planned for the N64 DD. DD stands for Disk Drive and basically made the player able to play a more expanded version of the game that was in the original N64 console. The DD was an attachment for the console and basically made the player able to play a way more detailed game. For example, in Ocarina of Time that we are going to talk about today, uh, more temples would uh, appear around in the game, more items would be able to gain, and also it would be a way more detailed game. For example, if Link was walking on sand, his footsteps would still be there if he was going to another area and come back again. His footsteps would be left there as like he were the first time. It's a pretty nice detail and such a shame it was scrapped because of the lack of production of the N64 DD. The DD was a huge failure when it was supposed to come out back in Japan, uh, but sadly it never made it out to the stores in America and Europe. And because of that, no Ura Zelda was created. We know about Ura because some fans talked about it and some ideas from the beta of Ocarina of Time have surfaced. But still, no Ura Zelda was never produced and it was such a pre production footage that we saw that it could be just a prototype for the original Ocarina of Time. So maybe we don't know, but fans still think that the GameCube version of Ocarina of Time contains a Ura Zelda version, which is called the Master Quest. The Master Quest is a harder version of Ocarina of Time with kind of new arranged dungeons, but still it's more like a more different dungeon design, but it's still the same temple, so I don't think it's Ura all at all. It's more like a, just a harder version of Ocarina of Time, like the word says Master Quest, right? So no Ura is available for the public, sadly. Number 4. Burger King once released a Nintendo kind of series of toys that you could get with your meal if you bought a child meal or something like that. I don't live at the time where I was uh, eating at Burger King because here in Denmark we didn't have that uh, company yet. So. These pictures that you can see on the screen right now shows you Link and some different Deku standing around him that he should be able to slice in pieces. It's a pretty nice toy but it's really primitive made and it's also really simple. I don't know if any of you guys and girls have it out there but make sure to write in the comment section down below if you got it and if it is the money worth because you can still buy it off eBay for some bucks I guess. $20 or something like that, but still is it the money worth? Is it pretty nice to have or is it just a collector's item for for fun? Just to think about Ocarina of Time, right? The toy here is pretty nice made But still I don't understand why they put the Deku Princess in there because she's not an enemy to Link She is actually the one who helps Link in Majora's Mask and still it's pretty it's actually pretty bad made because It's a doll Link that you can see on the toy but the Dekus is from uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, so it's basically a combination of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, but the toy itself is pretty cool, and I guess it could be a pretty nice collector's item for some reason, but it's not more worth than 30 bucks or something like that, I don't know. Number 3. Wind Waker was supposed to look way different. As you can see on this prototype that runs in the background of this video, Link was supposed to be a doll in Wind Waker. 
if you don't know this video, it's actually a really prototype of the Wind Waker. It's a teaser for the game console. And this video basically shows Link fighting Ganondorf. It was a part of a VHS, a DVD, I don't know what it was, but it was for some kind of a prototype video uh, that was a commercial for the GameCube console. I think it looks pretty nice and I really don't have any idea about where this place should be. It looks like Link and Ganondorf is fighting at a unreleased place of Wind Waker or maybe this is just made for the specific video, I don't know. But the only Zelda game that was released for the GameCube was Wind Waker. Also Ocarina of Time, but it's more like a reboot or something like that. Just to get more fans for Ocarina of Time. Nice. Uh, but still, Wind Waker was uh, supposed to have a Dalt Link. Also some really early concept art from the Wind Waker shows us that a Dalt Link was supposed to be in there and you should be able to play as him. Sadly, no screenshot is released of uh, a Dalt Link in the Wind Waker, but uh, some few mods out there actually allows you to play as a Dalt Link kind of looking guy uh, <laughs> around in Wind Waker. It's pretty nice, but if you think about it, Wind Waker with a Dalt version of Link, it would be pretty nice, but I still think Toon Link fits slightly more well. Maybe it's just because we're used with that figure in in the game but it's a pretty nice thing really number two twilight princess was supposed to be released on a nintendo ds system or maybe it wasn't released on there but a cartridge of the twilight princess was actually released as a promotional item for the game you on this cartridge you can uh, see trailers you can see some different credits i guess you can kind of thing but it's pretty nice actually just to see trailers on your nintendo ds system uh, of twilight princess i guess this is an extremely great promotional item because it's actually a game that has some value here it's not just a little banner or something that you can get in gamestop or something it's really nice and it's extremely expensive on eBay if you want to buy it. It's like maybe yeah, 10,000 bucks or something like that. I just guess here, but it's more than that. So it's really, really expensive. I really hope it's money worth. Mm, for some reason, I guess this is a great collector's item and it's really nice because it also comes with a box of it. So it's not just a cartridge, it's uh, basically a box that contains this cartridge. So it gives it more value and more, m more value for the collector, right? It looks way better with a, with a cover on it. So uh, yeah, definitely something that I didn't knew before I read about it. And now to number one. Link has appeared in a fighting game, which is not Smash Bros. It's called Soul Calibur, and this game is actually uh, something that I never heard of before I bought the game on eBay for some years ago. This game means nothing to me because it's not a Zelda game. It, it, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of fighting games. I've been playing Tekken Tag Tournament for for some time, but. Yeah, it's not something that, uh, that wakes something up in me, man, because I'm used with Zelda games, I'm used with Grand Theft Auto, and fighting games like that is not something that I like to play. But anyways, this game seems to be pretty nice, it was for the original GameCube version, and I really like this game actually, because you can play as Link, and it, it really looks great, and the graphics, wow man, it looks pretty nice of a GameCube game, right? So you can see a video of it running here on the video. It looks nice and just with Link, it looks pretty nice because of the model of Link is actually not just an old version of Link from Ocarina of Time or something. He really looks um, modern, if I can say it like that. He could surely uh, appear in modern Zelda games or something like that. I actually like this model because he looks like a real guy here, kinda, because uh, the ears and the eyes looks not as a normal person, but you know what I mean, right? Um, Soul Calibur also have different uh, versions of the game if you bought the game for Xbox, I guess it's uh, Soul Calibur 4 maybe. You can get uh, Yoda on it, you can also get Darth Vader there, so it's more Star Wars based. And I really like they made these fighting games um, based on a specific franchise. You can also play uh, Mortal Kombat where you can play as Jason Voorhees, Predator 
and yeah, you name it, man. So I really like these kind of uh, fighting games, but still, I've never been a huge fan of fighting games, sadly. But uh, it's pretty nice to have this game because it's surely a collector's item for any Zelda game out there. For any Zelda collector out there, sorry, right? So uh, if you uh, can get this game for really cheap on eBay or something like that, make sure to buy it because it's definitely the try worth if you like fighting games, really. So that was today's video guys and girls, I hope some of these facts surprised you, if it didn't, make sure to write it in the comment section, if you have any more facts, make sure to write it in the comment section, and if some of them surprised you, make sure to write that in the comment section, and also make sure to throw a like after the video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel, because if we can reach 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2018, I will be getting a tattoo of links of 1 to 3, it is... So sick, and I don't know why I promised you guys and girls that, but it depends on the subscriber count in the end of 2018. So make sure to help me with that so we can get the Link Soul 1 to 3 tattoo, man. See you in the next video, guys and girls. Bye.